What's going on guys, your boy French John back on YouTube for some more video. As you can see guys, I'm at uh, my friend's garage and uh, unfortunately I'm not gonna pick up my car today and I'm gonna show you why in a minute. Now as you can see my friends doing some cars and stuff. That's my friend's car. I'm gonna review that in a bit. For the cars right over there and then this is the reason why I won't pick up my car today because there are some stuff to be done onto the car. So quick update. Today my friends is going is actually putting the coilovers for the car front and Rear in front over there. But yeah, I won't pick up the car today because there are some stuff to be taken care of. So I uh, hopefully we'll be picking up the car. I have my friend over there, but he hates when we're recording. But he's doing amazing. Crazy work, crazy work, crazy work. Basically, what he's done since we put in some the polys on the car. So he basically done the whole stuff. He took the chassis out and um, redone all the stuff. So I don't know if you see, but here it's all um, power flex, so we call it. You have it here, and then you have it here as well. So basically redoing the chassis on the car. And you have the big brakes upgrade S3 with the. Uh, 312 millimeters and at the back we got as well S3 brakes or R32 brakes they're the same basically in 256 millimeters hopefully I'll pick it up tomorrow thanks to my friend who doesn't like when they record him <laughs> you see <he's> <laughs> He's flying away from the camera. He doesn't like when they record it. <laughs> yeah, but he's doing an amazing work. This is another Seat Leon PD150. Now, I know you guys don't have that car in the United States, but the chassis on that car is similar to a, to a Golf MK4 and an Audi A3 MK1. And uh, and um, yeah, and a uh, and a Jetta MK4. It's basically the same chassis. And uh, yeah, as you can see here, you have a Z18 brakes from a Porsche Cayenne with an R32 brakes, 334 millimeters. And then at the rear. At the rear you have the same brakes as mine we we all go for um r32 brakes at the rear because it's really good on diesel but um the brakes on his one are r32s and um the disc are from uh, uh, vw phenom 310 millimeters interior the car rows similar to um the GLI this this Recaro believe it or not this actually my old interior when I had it previously on my on my first second borrow So this has been modified heavily as well for diesel. It's got um, 323 brake horsepower and uh, 600 and something newton meters of torque. Beast. So yeah. So thanks guys. Well, today is not gonna be the day where I'm actually gonna pick up my 
car still doing some work on it but it's fine I'm actually glad that he's doing the work that needs to be done in the car so that I can drive it tomorrow enjoy my time and then you know hopefully everything will go fine now thanks for tuning up hopefully tomorrow will be uh, the day I pick up my car and uh, yeah I'll see you guys soon for some more videos Greg what's up <laughs> there you go I got him <laughs> all right peace family what's good family it's your boy French John back again for another video on YouTube yeah as you can see you know dressing like sharp as whatever well. but that's because I actually um, came from church and I know what you guys are gonna say boss why you guys are going to church on Sunday that's another subject that we're gonna talk later on but yeah I just came up from church and um, I'm walking to my friend's garage to finally pick up my car um, today is Saturday and uh, I was supposed to get it yesterday but there was some work to be done but I'm actually hopefully getting it today and uh, apparently he had some problems with a time belt because you know English cars everything you know master back cylinder and then master cylinder and then everything is on the right side where the engine support is so basically it's a nightmare to actually get that stuff out and then do the work but my friend actually managed to get it out so we're gonna go see him right now to check out the car so i'll see you in a bit and we are back at it again the car is still doing some work something we just installed as well so the the car will get out a bit more in terms of the wheels and stuff spaces and space out rear and then this is the problem that we had with the car that freaking engine support somewhere around there as you can see it's all the way there so this is the problem that we had with the car now hopefully we're gonna get it back in just need to finish the time belt and then the brakes just uh, bleed the brakes and then that should be fine and then a little something that he did I'll show you a picture before but as you see um, this was really thrown out and then my friend Did just you? had some fun yeah it's it's uh he says it's a little 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 very subtle but it looks nice thank you Greg <laughs> do you want to say something for the camera Greg <laughs> Yes. Would you like to say something for the people that I that are watching you? English. I don't know. I will translate. Don't worry. But yeah, that's the magician that's been working on my car. So we're gonna get things sorted. And hopefully I'll get the car today. Hopefully, we have some work to be done. But hopefully. Gosh, I love my baby. Hopefully I'll drive it soon. So yeah, I'll come back later on. Um, I'm probably not gonna record everything, but I will uh, start recording when I grab the keys to the car and then start driving it. So I'll see you in a bit. Good morning family, it's your boyfriend John back on YouTube for some more video. Um, I didn't record um, when I picked up my car because it was really late and then I don't think you guys would see anything but I thought it would be best to uh, just uh, um, do the video in the morning so that you guys uh, can see me properly, you guys can see the car properly and then you know I can go into the details and stuff about what my friends done into the car 
and uh yeah as you can see i'm in my car right now i feel so excited so i picked up the car yesterday i was meant to pick up the car um on friday but we had some works to be done and then uh i literally pick up the car yesterday around seven eight o'clock yeah i think yeah around eight eight ish in uh in the evening so uh um you guys probably wouldn't see anything but um uh man i'm i'm happy i pick up the car and then uh in a minute i'm about to show you basically um what the car is like the most that's been done to the car right now i'm actually waiting for my friend because the car has been sitting down for quite some time um without my friend being starting it up so the battery is pretty much dead even when uh, um I let it charge for a bit with the car is still dead and uh, the, the change of the battery was basically overdue anyway so um, so it's fine I'm, uh, I'm gonna get that change with my friends anyway so while I'm waiting for my friend and then people think I'm kind of crazy because I'm actually talking to the camera and I'm talking to you guys um, let's have a little look outside so here is the final design <laughs> Final design. Car has been lowered to I don't know how much, but yeah, it's quite low. So my friend has done the coilovers on the car. See here, the coilovers. It's got um, Audi S3 brakes, 312 millimeters in the front, and. Uh, 256 at the rear with the spaces so uh, let's see. Yeah. it's all right it's all right it's not too bad and uh, yeah the car I love the stunts the um, the the uh, BBS LM wheels the 18 inch um, has been sent to Portugal to get redone so I'm just waiting for them to come back basically and um, yeah so what's been done to the car so coilovers brakes at the front and at the rear um, spaces at the rear uh, poor flex at the front full poor flex the timing belt as well has been done to the car and then uh, my friend did a little something with some lights for me. He polished them just a little bit so that they come clearer. But new lights will come on anyway. And um, the uh, front grill as well. I'm keeping it standard, but it's gonna be black. Now I'm actually gonna get back in the car and wait for my friend, cause is super cold outside Ugh, boy Ugh. right so guys thank you very much thanks for watching guys the video and i hope you enjoyed it and then uh, i'll see you soon for some more videos